this video we're going to review um, descriptions of polynomials and this question right here says which of these phrases referring to these lines right here best describes a polynomial so when you see best describes in something that, that might mean there's more than one reasonable choice however one of them will definitely be better than the other so in this I'm going to read the first one it says a decimal that is non-terminating and non-repeating so that means a decimal is non-terminating so it means it goes on forever and it doesn't repeat so there's no repeating pattern so maybe something like this and we keep going and going without any repeating cycle that's an irrational number so it's not a polynomial that's describing an irrational number and we could have irrational numbers in polynomials but that does not how we describe polynomials and the next one an algebraic expression so a statement some kind of algebraic statement not an equation so 3x plus 2y that's an expression not an equation because it doesn't have this it doesn't have an equal sign so it says an algebraic expression containing one or more terms these are terms right here terms are th um, numbers connected by multiplication so three times x numbers and variables two times y that's another term so term one and term two these are two terms connected by and you can usually identify that you're separating terms with this operation it's going to be separated with the operations of addition or subtraction probably not multiplication or a division so terms are separated by addition so they're saying an algebraic expression containing one or more terms that seems reasonable and it might be our answer I'm going to kind of circle it but there might be a better one next a closed plane figure formed by three or more line segments so we have one two three four five six so I think we're describing a polygon here a many-sided closed figure it could be three sides which is a triangle or four sides which could be a square but that's not a, uh, a polynomial that's a polygon so uh, it's different and then a number greater than one that has exactly two different factors so here we're describing prime numbers like five which has exactly two factors and they're different factors so it's a prime number so b has to be the answer